Greetings everyone and welcome to the next Spets Plays. Where it's well, it's kinda of what I promised I was gonna do. I'm doing Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. Brought to us by Ubisoft. I guess Tom Clancy. He kind of just farted this one out too, the story. So the story of this game is actually a lot better than the last one. This this is Raw 1 and 2 are like the best of the best of the Ghost Recon series. There, there's none better. Wildlands is good. Break. Oh, what is it? Uh, uh, what's the newest one? Breakpoint or whatever. <laughs> that just sucks. Anyways, this game has the best title screen theme of all time of any game I have ever played. This is freaking sick. It's epic. Anyways, uh, Ghost Recon 2. Eh, it was okay. Definitely is like up from the first game. It's kind of the, the stage for this game. This game, between the first one and the second one, are goddamn masterpieces. Already, both of them, 9 out of 10s. The only thing keeping them from getting 10s is that you can't do everything in a single player that you can do in a multiplayer. But the multiplayer has more guns, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the story of this is pretty cool. Uh, it's very highly unlikely. But it's pretty cool. Um, and it's very, very good. Uh, what else to say about this? This game also had some of the best multiplayer on Xbox. Uh, the host actually had full control over their lobbies. They could issue what guns they wanted to have in there, what kind of matches you wanted, how many people in there, what kind of camouflage everybody gets. You can really restrict stuff on what people can use. Case in point, there's uh, grenade launchers are broken in the multiplayer, and it just basically becomes a grenade launch fest, which is stupid and pointless and dumb. So we'd always turn them off. What we would do to troll people, though, to just kind of you could spot the stupid kids that wanted to just run around with grenade launchers, is we'd leave a six pack launcher, the one with the big cylinder on it. There's a version of it that only fires smoke rounds, so they're harmless. And you'd see a kid run in a room, and he'd say, oh, they left this thing in there, but he'd rush, rush and pick it, and then we'd start the match, and he'd be shooting smoke rounds at you, and then we'd shoot him and kill him and quit. <laughs> so, oh gosh. Anyways, let's get started on this campaign. Uh, this takes the uh, Advanced Warfighter package that was in Ghost Recon 2, but makes it where your whole squad has it. Yeah, and then that gun that he's holding right there, I always nicknamed it the hot dog gun or the fake gun, or whatever you want to call it. I hate that freaking thing. It's stupid. It shouldn't exist. And it was bullcrap in the multiplayer because it would hit you with a toe and insta kill you. It was so stupid. It had a 50 round clip in it. It's freaking broken. Anyways, enough freaking whining and crying on stuff. Let's get started. Yeah, just name it Graw. I don't freaking care. We're going to play it on normal. Uh, we're not doing this because enemies are broken in these games anyways. Can, can I mess with my freaking settings? Anyways, this game is freaking gorgeous. Uh, yeah, there's not enough I can freaking say about this. I'm Lieutenant Rosen, the Ghost Team's Training and Logistics Officer. Okay, okay, that uh, that's right. You change stance by clicking the left stick. Okay. That's right, there's no sprinting. You're automatically sprinting. Then you, yeah, see, in the, in the single player, you can do this kind of peeking thing. And then pop up, so you can kind of like see over stuff a little better. See, this is how you do third-person cover right. You automatically go into it. And you don't just automatically go, Oh, I can see over the wall perfectly! <laughs> I can see through walls. No, you have to poke up. And you can't just, like, automatically get your crosshair on somebody. you got to actually poke up to get your crosshair on something. And you're like, ah! Just, ah! Oh, God, that motion blur is going to my nerves. Okay, options. Wait, did I already have... Okay, good, it's already inverted. Oh, thank God. Okay, so I don't want to mess with too much. Camera view. Yeah, you need to first person over the, over the shoulders the way to play these games. So that's pretty much all we need to really do, so let's get started. And then back away and do that. B is your grenade, which you pull out your pouch. You hold B, and then you can go to your item menu and you can pull out your Beretta M9. Yes, they are still using the M9 in this game. And the aim is so fluid. Okay, that is your night vision.
Boing! Uh, that's not reload. What is reload? Reload's Y, isn't it? Or is it right bumper? No, that's switched over. Bumper isn't doing anything. Oh, it's A. That's right. Then A is your action menu, which is you can pick your, uh, uh, kind of your stuff. Switch. This you can do in the multiplayer. You can switch which shoulder you want to jump over. I always love the over-the-shoulder controls in this game. They are so freaking good. And you can poke out a shot. And there's no zoom on your pistol because it's a pistol. What crates are you even talking about? Oh, shut up. Just a okay. Good. Now move to the next position. Oh, we're going to switch guns. Hey, and this thing also has a freaking sniper scope on it. This thing is such freaking garbage. MRC is freaking dumb. Standing, Captain. You're now ready to move to the assault course. This course simulates a real yeah, combat thing. environment. Well, as real as we can make it. Yeah, if you let me get in a freaking nineteen eleven, this crap wouldn't be happening. Chopper Dave! <laughs> this is gonna be like a, a slide. Yep, there's a slide. Okay. Just so happen to have gun vending machines. Yeah, and your character actually feels like he has weight to it, which is really fun. That's one one thing I love about this game. Like everything feels like there's half to it. A kit container.
Yeah, you got the Zeus and you got the Frags and all that. So okay, all right. Yeah, the Zeus is a primary weapon, so you gotta be careful of that thing. That's right. There's a gun that the enemies actually use in this game that I really want. I think it takes a second though. Should not take two to broke fucking Bradley with that thing. What kind of garbage freaking. I mean, what kind of garbage rocket launcher is that? <laughs> Bradleys have no armor. Like, they literally have no armor. It's a truck. Okay, so you can pick your, uh, Teammates, you got Ramirez, we got Paul with a little hat. Derek Parker, he's a green deer. I'll take Paul. Wait, Paul's got the hot dog gun. You don't no, you're not gonna you got an M4. Okay. Uh Bo Jenkins. Beasley's British. I'm bringing him along. Marx Brown. Oh he was in the, he was in the last game, that's right. I bring him along. There's Kirkland, who's a gunner also. Annabelle Cruz. I bring Marcus, because Marcus Marcus proved himself last time. I do not want that crap. That's a maybe. We're taking that. You won't let me get my 1911 screw you game. You not with the hot dog gun. Captain, this is your team. Take some time learning how to issue. So the nice thing is that you have a picture in picture on your HUD. And now I can tell them where to go. Can you see you can see how they're moving? I can see what they see. Let's Moving, Captain. Good. Very good. You are a fast learner, sir. So I can send them to go do a thing, and then I can regroup or go do a thing. Do I can Fall back on Captain, me. Let's sir, do that. You're a natural. Wow, you did like two basic commands. You're a natural at being a commander. Pay attention. Go quiet. Roger that. Look sharp. We're going Very in. Good, sir. Aggressive. The team is now Copy that. Out your commands. Let's go. Moving, Captain. Okay, so I can use this to tell him where to go too. Okay, cool. Outstanding, Captain. Next, we're going to test your command under fire. Captain Mitchell, I have visual confirmation on an enemy patrol moving to intercept you. You need to find some cover and get ready for them. Forming on you. But I don't want to. That's not that's not a place that we want to be at. We want to be up in the garage. That's a defendable position. Yeah, in the multiplayer, you'll send this picture in picture thing. It makes communication and making up your teammates' position so much easier. Yeah, the motion capture in this game is freaking great. Ground, ready for orders. Captain? Let's go. Can't go any further, Captain. Look, you idiots. Get over here! Yes, Captain. Advance. That's Roger. 
Yeah, you get to command vehicles in this game too. It's freaking dumb. You can use them as cover as well, like like you are supposed to. I can't wait for them to put this thing in a freaking War Thunder Striker with the 30 mil or the uh, or the 20. Excuse me, the 25 millimeter Bushmaster or the 105 millimeter gun. Move, move, move! Need another way. Yes, sir. Got to pull back, Ghost Leader. Very good, sir. Now you need to clear this area of enemy combatants so that my Blackhawk can land for your extraction. Moving, Captain. Uh, sir, you're dope, because it wouldn't have. Outstanding. You are as good as everyone says you are, sir. Move to the extraction point. Back on me. Forming on you. Advance. Moving. I'm gonna pick this up. I'm here. There it is. There's one of the guns I want. Wait, is that the G36K? I don't want that crap. What that? 21 ELMG. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to the 36K. 36K can just screw off. I don't want that mess because that's the gun that was like the poster child in freaking Rainbow Six Three, and that game was garbage. And that gun was garbage, and no one likes that freaking gun. No, it's G36C. The K is the one I want. That's right. The K I want. The C I don't like. The C is carbine. Yuck. K is fun. Alright, alright. Hold on. Nope. Where's the music? Are you serious? Get it off. Just for now. I turned it off! Well, I'll just mute it. I can't mute it because that's... Well, whatever. We'll just roll with it. God dang it. I'll turn the music back on. Oh, that's not really real music. Two days ago, we lost an RC-12 spy plane down in Nicaragua. It was carrying Guardrail 9, a multifunction Black Ops communications asset. Yesterday, Nicaraguan rebels made contact with a paramilitary group here in Mexico City. We now have SFC Joe Ramirez on the ground. He has confirmed a deal is taking place. You must retrieve the package and get it back to the extraction point. This Blackhawk will be on standby for support and extraction. To repeat, objective one is reach Ramirez's position. Understood. Reach Ramirez's position. Got it, bud. Let's do it. Excellent. Good to have you aboard, Scott. You are now weapons free. Yep, we are playing as Mitchell again. So where we're at is we're in Mexico City, where there's a coup d'etat going on between the Mexican uh, and Nicaraguan military forces trying to take over the Mexican government and create some kind of revolution for reasons unknown and they're stupid and they don't make any sense. Sorry, I had to really talk loud over that to try to keep you two from freaking out. The U.S. President has joined the Canadian Prime Minister and the Mexican President in Mexico City to sign NASJA, the North American Joint Security Agreement. 
a historic new policy designed to share the policing responsibilities along the borders of these three countries and to hopefully curtail the illegal immigration and movement of drugs, weapons, and terrorists in the hemisphere. As part of this groundbreaking agreement, 50 U.S. tanks have been given to the Mexican Army and are now on display at Camp Chapultepec in Mexico City. Can I get rid of this gun yet? I hate this gun. This gun's stupid. This gun doesn't make any sense. I'm not using this freaking gun. Screw you, gang. Take it off, Chopper Dave! That's the guy's name now. It's Dave. I don't know what his name is. It's Dave now. So yeah, we're in Mexico City. Uh, of course, Dodge has to get their freaking you know, licensing crap in here for no reason, because there's not even Dodge in the game that you can drive. But yeah, I, oh, that's one thing I remember about this game. Every freaking car you will see on the road is a Dodge. Looks like they're ready to deal. Copy that, Jose. En route to your position. Ramirez, I need another look at the Mexicans doing the deal. I think I can ID one of them. Video coming at you. They're talking. What? I think the guy with the phone is Carlos Sontiveros, a student of mine at Winsack. This is not good. Ow. So yeah, you can see the health of the enemies with this warfighter system. It's something you don't get in the multiplayer. Oh, where's a headshot? Thank you, both good. Alright. You guys got a new gun for me? This guy does. Hello. What do we have here? A real gun. Oh, G36C, baby. Or G36K. Uh, I'm going to run on single shot for right now. So now we have a real gun, not this fake bullcrap. For some reason, the Mexican soldiers are using German weaponry. You know what? They know what's good. At least I'll give them that. Maybe the Mexican, I don't know what Mexican soldiers use for like weaponry enemy. now. I'm on the move! Ramirez, what's your sit rep? Ramirez, respond! I'm an idiot, Ramirez. that's what's wrong. Holy crap. Captain, we've lost contact with Ramirez. You are to report. I'm setting up a rally point. I can lead Ramirez. Negative. Too many hostiles in the target zone. This dude right here trying to run up on me. Nah, we don't need that. We got a good gun right now. Let's see, G36K. Yep, it's a good version. It's the long barrel. It's the long gun. Swarm, we have a sniper. Bow. Whatever happened to what's her name? Uh, Ramirez was the lady sniper in the last game. Sadly, there's no women in this game. Scar L. Yeah, I mean, scars are fine. I don't want Scar L. Scar H. Is there not an H? I, I don't, I don't, I don't want these guns. There's still no freaking pistol. I, I don't, I don't want this gun. I don't want these guns. 
Okay, the Scar LCQC has got a silencer on it. Does it not have the board grip? Yeah, we'll, we'll take that. I don't, I don't want this gun. Where's, where's my G36? This is so much a better of a gun. Cipher. The battle zone and can pinpoint enemy positions. Pay close attention. I am uploading the drone's commands to you now. Ramirez is somewhere close, Captain. Use the UAV to pinpoint his position. Just designate a spot on your tactical map. The UAV will begin scanning and move to that spot. Yeah, I'm doing that. Shouldn't I have, a, I don't know, a radio or something on him? Oh, I gotta send it over here. I was going the wrong way. I saw the freaking arrow now, so. Yeah. Let's zip, zip, zip it is happening all the way over there. Remember, sir, the drone can only scan at low altitude. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, at low altitude, it is vulnerable to enemy fire. Yeah, I love that, like, shoulder cam thing that's in this game. This game's pretty open world, even, still. Um,
bunch of freaking retards. You're gonna be fine, soldier. I needed that. Soldier needs help. Go. I needed that. Be okay. Hold still. You're gonna be okay. Thanks. I needed that. Can I get a G36K now, please? Thank you. Gosh, what garbage. To me. Yes, Captain. Re Enemy spotted. I'm here, holding position. this game because you will get your butt handed to you <laughs> really fast. But I also don't want to rely on freaking the way these are kind of, I played the uh, multiplayer this game enough where I don't have to I shouldn't have to rely on a bunch of other goofy crap. Son of a biscuit, where are these enemies at? He's still over there, he ain't happy. Stupid frickin' moron! You can't shoot through uh, cover in this game. That's gonna get enough punch to do that. To me, moving to you now. I'm here, holding position. I'm here, holding position. So far, my squad mates are completely and utterly useless. Get the frig out of here. Back on me. Moving to you now, Captain. Oh, 
Uh, no. I freaking bopped that dude smack in the face. As long as you get there and administer it, they won't die. Let's go. Acknowledge, Captain. Captain. Take the shot. Sucker back on full automatic, yeah. Blackhawk 4 to Ghost Leader. We picked up Ramirez, severely injured. We need to evac now. Reach the roof for immediate extraction. Roger that. On my way now. Alright! Come on guys, get on the bird. Let's go. Frickin' babbling about. Whatever. Captain, we've got incoming video. Stand by. Patching in now. And moments ago, during the ceremonial signing of NAJSA, the first ever North American security sharing agreement, Mexican soldiers opposed to the treaty stormed Zocalo Plaza. And we just now received word that earlier reports indicating the Canadian Prime Minister was killed have now been confirmed. So what do we know about the gentleman? The Canadian Prime Minister is dead and we do not have what? President Valentine's present 20. Repeat, the President is missing. The Mexican Vice President has asked for our immediate support. So you will proceed to VIP 1's last known position, his vehicle near Zocalo Plaza. Mitchell. You have Captains Bolin and Abru on site. 
We need you to ensure VIP-1 safety until we can arrange assets for an extraction. Reinforcements from Pendleton are on the way. In the meantime, Marines at the Embassy are en route to this position. Blackhawk 4 moving to that position. Buckle up, gentlemen. The radio chatter says this is going to be a hornet's nest. We'll be landing low and fast, so grab a rail. Oh, um, we will save that for next time. And until then, I'll catch you guys later. See ya!